Okay. Guess everybody wants to know about a car being set up for me, so clear and safe. Nothing. Okay. BCM. Not paid, not sponsored, just the best carbine for me right now. How I feel. So, we got proof research um, 11 and a half. Guys, a two stage on a Unity. Aim point, in goal, mod light. Nothing fancy, everything works. My sling, um, this is actually a. The ferro sling with different attachment points. Snag some from Magpul. Um, snag this little swivel buttstock combo from Tech 10 Tactical. It's a guy uh, I was a Team 10 with. Um, these guys came up with this thing and I really dig it for switching shoulders. Um, but nothing fancy, man. Um, just everything placement wise, I'm trying to get it kind of streamlined. I know dudes who aren't sold on the 2 to 1. Um, you just do it. If you want to, I don't care. Um, that's what I like to do. But everything I put in there, I try to make it pretty universal. Um, there's some light stuff we got to work through. Just uh, we're kind of limited on rail space now with the laser. Um, for common points, um, the riser, big fan of the riser now. Um, with just a heads up shooting, I think it provides uh, more options, puts you in a better overall platform that translates easier to a pistol. Now we don't have to do the crazy lean. I know the height of a board, people get wrapped up, but if CQB is your profession, I'd argue that heads up um, is definitely worth it. Um, laser all the way up, because I'm trying to get as much purchase as this as I can. I don't want my thumb in front of the laser because now I get obscuration um, anytime I go night mode, or depending on my hand, I can block the laser in daytime. So I try to make it as slick as possible. I don't run back up irons, that's why I have shooting buddies. Um, but yeah, um, I also. My life doesn't depend on this, but if it did, if I could build one gun right now, out of all the guns I've ever shot in my life, this is the best one so far. Hands down, um, yeah, I haven't shot anything better than this, and we argue with everybody that, um, yeah, you can come shoot this thing. It's, I've got a little bit of buffer work that I've played with with some weights, but outside of that, dude, it, um, it runs. It runs like a fucking Rolex. It's my favorite so far. And can wise, we're running um, CGS cans. For the weight, <laughs> for the suppression, this thing is amazing. Um, yeah, chemo adapter, um, super easy. Um, my favorite brake on earth, I can't run because of this adapter, but hopefully we can soon. Um, but this thing's badass. Mitigating recoil without much effort um, just because of the brake. So in my opinion brakes are worth it um, Just because it shouldn't be a fair shouldn't be a fair fight And you should have everything on that gun that's functional to make you use it as accurately and as efficiently as possible So brake no brake direct threat. I don't really care whatever you want um, But for me super simple. I don't do pressure pads on lights um, Growing up in the in the community, we didn't do that. It wasn't a, it wasn't a thing. Just fear of white light ADs. Um, none of us run pressure pads on our lights. Just old habit. Um, not saying good, bad, or indifferent. I just uh, I never want that light to turn on unless I want it to be on. So that's it. So I got my basic M4 BCM. Kind of my rifle is personalized extremely to my likes. Being a lefty, um, first kind of start off with the sling. It's two points instead of one, um, but kind of how, how I have it set it allows me to kind of switch shoulders left or right on this side and have the length long enough that it works. And some stock things, um, obviously BCM butt stock changed up the FDE color, make it a little different, but got a hex mag uh, grip, just feels good in my hands. Um, got a Geisley single stage in this one. Usually it's a two stage, but I know by the black handle grip, it's a single stage. I uh, got an aftermarket safety, uh, ambi safety. The, the longer of the ambi safety is on this side, it's the preference with my thumb, that's a 45 instead of a 90. And moving forward, we got a 
great kind of proof research carbon barrel. It shoots super crisp with a dead air muzzle brake on there. Match dead air QD. CGS is beautiful. 3D printed titanium suppressors. So you're gonna, things are amazing. Mod lights taking the next level just with their lighting and the looms. Uh, I don't run any push buttons on the lights just because fear of AD, light AD and bumping that light give your position way more than uh, having an IR AD. I've got the Ingall and then kind of the two stage single and then kind of with the override. Got the Unity riser, looks funky until you shoot it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Vortex, just red dot, nothing special. Um, on this side, I got both the Magpul, kind of bad lever, and then a, another Magpul. So for lefties, getting a mag release and a bolt release. Um, and then the shorter Ambi Safety 45 on this. Um, then kind of get these sides too. And then I got a suppressed, fast uh, charging handle has a few different cuts in it, helps with the gas when you're running suppressed. And then I uh, got another QD right here, so I'll switch over to shooting right-handed, instructing or if the environment kind of creates it.